just a, a group of people that were concerned about the care of tortoises or pet desert tortoises. In 1982 it became a fully fledged non-profit organization and it's been helping out with tortoises ever since. It's kind of changed a little bit over the years and as far as there's an education component but now there's also an adoption component and we're moving into other areas as well so it's uh, it's changed definitely. Why is it so important to adopt uh, desert tortoises? Basically, it's because there are just too many of them in uh, Las Vegas. Earlier this year, we started moving towards uh, adoptions in northern Nevada, just because we were having such a hard time finding homes in Las Vegas, and, and now we're coming out to do this workshop in Pahrump on Sunday. Uh, the, the biggest issue is that a lot of people breed them in their backyards. Uh, they live about 80 to 100 years, so they're going to outlive most of their custodians. Um, and, and with the, the breeding issue, we've had 50 or 60 tortoises just come from two or three houses alone where people have been breeding them. Um, they've died, and somebody else has been in the position of having to do something about a lot of tortoises. Obviously, when somebody's spouse dies, they often move, mm -hmm. not always, but in, the, in a couple of cases we've had this situation where people want to move and all of a sudden there's 50 or 60 tortoises that need to be found homes for. That's on top of all the other ones that happen on a regular basis, so it's quite a challenge. And when they're held in captivity or bred in captivity, they're different than the wild ones out there. They're not able to take care of themselves? It's the same species and, and they likely would be able to take care of themselves in the wild if they were introduced at the, an early age. However, there's two reasons why you can't put um, two main reasons why you can't put pet desert tortoises back into the wild. The m most important one is disease. We don't want to be introducing disease into the wild population. And the second one is that by putting too many tortoises into a particular area it can definitely um, affect the balance of the environment by having too many tortoises there so it, it really isn't something that a lot of people ask as well it, it's a protect it's an endangered species in the wild and yet there are more of them in in the uh, the pet population why can't you just take them and just dump them back into the desert and, and those are really the two main reasons that it's not not a good reason to do that